interesting enough that he makes his first start against Michigan on the road, right. but then because the game got canceled now, his first two starts at Michigan and Tennessee. Right. Is there something about that you saw at, at, at Michigan, even though things didn't work out all that well, about his demeanor that leads you to believe that he can handle this kind of challenge this week? Um, definitely. Uh, Felipe, you know, he comes in with the same demeanor every day. Uh, he, he approaches every every detail and every assignment, like it's a, it's a game rep, uh, whether we're in practice, whether we're in meetings, you know, he takes advantage of every day. You know, he puts 100 in everything. Uh, in the game, you know, he can be calm and coy. I think that's the, that was the biggest thing for him, you know, just being calm. But I think he's excited and he's ready to go. Um, you know, he's able to show everybody that he can throw the ball around the field. And he shows his definitely he can do that. You know, just staying calm and controlling himself well. Back to the hurricane for a second. Where were you during the hurricane, and have you ever been through something like that? Uh, I was here. I was home uh, at my apartment with my roommate. Um, and just stay inside. Uh, my house was fine. It was a little bit cloudy and rainy, so uh, you know, just stay in the house and just relax. And, you know, kind of watch what's going on and see, see what's happening. You talked to any teammates about what they went through, or, or their families are fine, or yeah, talked to any of them? Uh, uh, everybody on our team, you know, I mean, everybody in the South Florida, you know, the families got here. Uh, I know some people from South Florida families came up here. Uh, they stayed in our team hotel. Coach Mack was real somber today. How do you guys kind of get over that mood and get excited to play a game now with everything you've been through? Uh, you just got to reshift your focus. You know, um, that's the, uh, you know, you got to stay happy and let that happen. You know, um, it's out of our control. You know, I think he does a good job, you know, letting the players know that, like, it's out of our control. But uh, knowing that we still have a football game to go play, you got to just reshift your focus. And, uh, you know, just being mentally prepared to go uh, play the game against Miami on Saturday. How critical is this game? I mean, you guys are all weathering out. Going to start year, it's a tough hole to get out of. Right, um, definitely a big game for us. Uh, it has to be opener as well. So um, you know, we come out you know, pretty deep. So uh, definitely got to approach this game with a, with a little chip on our shoulder, you know, ready to play. I think we can definitely play. Um, we can bring it uh, you know, far in the field pretty well. You know, and I just got to come out and play hard. And I know that both of us know that we can do that. Have you noticed that somberness in McElwain? Like, has it showed in you guys also? Um, not really. He said that this game can kind of serve as a, an escape for fans who maybe had bad stuff happen yeah, to them during the hurricane. A lot of things happen uh, sadly you know, every day. And, uh, I think this game uh, will definitely um, be able to clear people's minds and uh, come out and enjoy the game of football. So uh, I think it'll be good for a lot of families and Florida fans to just come out and just watch the game and uh, know that they can you know, just rest their minds and just be calm and not have to wait for the, for the loud and Talk, talk to Felipe a little bit earlier about bringing down his every time. Right. What any in what's his in-game mindset like? What's he like in the huddle? Like <clears throat> overall, how's he approaching to take that leadership role? Uh, you know, he's a leader, a uh, natural born leader. You know, he comes in the huddle fired up and ready to play. No matter who he's losing, you know, he's third and fifteen, third and one. You know, he's always ready to go. And I think that's that's something that I admire about him. You know, he's always ready no matter what, no matter if he's making a play or uh, you know, coach or whatever he's saying. Uh, he's just you know he just wants to. I think that that's a big thing that um, he brings to the game is just you know his calmness that he uh, allows us to stay calm and move forward. A lot of uh, fans and players have talked about this being an escape. Have you noticed that from many of your teammates talking about uh, getting out in the field and just kind of trying to forget about the hurricane? Uh, definitely, you know, I, um, when the hurricane hit, you know, guys are ready to just go practice. You know, um, just get things off their mind. They're just tired of hearing about all the hurricane and devastation. You know, we got practice. Kind of forget about everything, you know, just you know, dealing with another world. So um, I think the game of football really allows people to kind of clear their mind and just you know, just let things go a little bit. How much does the team talk about what happened last year against the Alabama Cowboys? Uh, definitely a lot. You know, we came out, you know, really strong. We went twenty one to three at half, and then uh, they um, definitely came out the second half and played poorly. Um, so there's definitely no history. Like we. It's going to be a four-quarter game, and 